check in now with Storm Team Meteorologist Nate Harrington. We got a couple of storms we keep an eye on. Laura and Marco on the minds of a lot of people this morning. For sure. And I think when people talk about the it's just a tropical storm, uh, I, I think that's it's a bad mistake to get to lulled into that false sense of security because just a tropical storm can cause flooding, storm surge impacts, severe weather. So folks along the Louisiana coast that look like they're going to be bracing for kind of a double threat here the next couple of days need to take this very seriously and we'll take it very seriously too because any little jog in the track, especially Laura, I think Marco's track pretty much well set as it uh, braces for impact later on today. But I think Laura still some uh, some kind of details to iron out with that forecast. But right now, just seeing the bands of Marco enter central Alabama, it looks like it will make landfall as a tropical storm later on today or maybe very early on Tuesday. It doesn't really matter too much when exactly it makes landfall. They're going to expect the same sort of conditions, heavy rain, storm surge, flooding, and it does fizzle out pretty quickly. The structure as it is right now starting to fall apart anyway, so we'll watch it fizzle out by Tuesday afternoon and into Wednesday, but still causing some problems. We're still going to see showers and storms around here and really throughout much of the deep south because of Marco and its circulation. So scattered storms today, mainly to the south, but I think decent chances of rain everywhere in central Alabama today, around 40%. And then a few stray showers tonight, mainly cloudy with temperatures in the 70s. So here's Laura. And the track of Laura over the last 48 hours has just been a roller coaster ride. We were tracking it to possibly make landfall in the uh, panhandle of Florida, Alabama Gulf Coast, and then it slid over to farther, uh, farther to the west, Mississippi, Louisiana. Now it makes some sort of landfall, at, at least according to the National Hurricane Center, somewhere near the Texas, Louisiana coast. But it still has to overcome lots of environmental impacts and the island of Cuba, the western tip of Cuba, very mountainous. It can really disrupt tropical weather, especially if the center of circulation travels right over top of it. So there's still a lot to watch with Laura, but this is the official track from the Hurricane Center. Continues that northwestern and western movement, strengthens into a hurricane. Once it gets in the Gulf of Mexico, the warm water is there and then makes landfall as a Category 2 storm, possibly near the Texas, Louisiana coast. And then it makes that turn to the north and northeast pretty quickly on late Thursday into Friday, and this is when it could impact central Alabama by that time frame. Late Thursday, Friday, and possibly into Saturday too with the remnants and all the uh, moisture still left over, the very tropical air mass still left over, causing some problems here, showers and thunderstorms being the most likely ones. But like I said, any little jog over to the east with this storm could mean bigger impacts for especially our western county. So this is going to be a storm we have to watch here over the next 36 hours because things could change pretty rapidly. So numerous storms tomorrow, just a few isolated ones Wednesday and then Wednesday night into Thursday and then on Friday. I think that's when we start to feel the impacts of Laura this weekend. It remains pretty unsettled with chances of showers and storms Saturday and Sunday. That's your